Uh, we're in a gas compression station south of Santa Cruz de la Sierra, Bolivia, uh, in the middle of the subtropical forest. We're about a six hour drive from the closest city, and in addition, this the customer has very strict rules about driving at night and driving under dangerous conditions, so the access is limited. Basically, in this station, what we do is uh, the gas is boosted on a pipeline that runs from uh, Bolivia, where you know the gas is collected on the ground, and runs all the way to Brazil and other countries here in South America to sell natural gas. The station pumps about 350 million standard cubic feet of gas per day. YPV, the principal business, is export. This pipeline, the maintenance of the pipeline and the compression station is very important to function all days, all year. In Taquiperenda station, uh, four microturbines C65 produce all power supply for the, for the station and, and produce the power for uh, compressors, for uh, heaters. Critical equipment like uh, fire detection, uh, emergency shutdown all the unseriously equipment for the large turbines that boost up the pressure of the gas in the pipeline, basically at the entire electrical needs of the station. This customer feels uh, very comfortable with the use of the capstone microturbines because they've been working with the microturbines for a long time now and they're well aware of their reliability and availability. I like to be involved and follow closely all the equipment which I am responsible for. I can see that this is very reliable equipment, very easy to maintain, and one of the most important features, which we find to be very helpful, is the full remote access. Because most of these um, stations are very remote uh, from urban areas, uh, maintenance is a key issue. In their existing stations uh, that have been operating over 15 years, obviously they, they chose the technology that was available at the time, which was reciprocating engines. Currently, the maintenance plan and our recip engines are based on run hours. They require quite a bit of tasks which need personnel to be on site. This includes one or two electrical and mechanical technicians. It requires quite a bit of consumables. All this makes maintenance and the recip engines more time-consuming and more costly. In contrast, with the capstone microturbines, it is more about electronics, which allows remote access, check software, allows for a cleaner diagnosis, also less risky as there is less manual intervention. Our expectations are very high. We have several projects that will be taking place in the next five years, and we are considering as the most viable alternative to continue using capstone products to replace our current recip equipment. We trust that in the future we will have all of our facilities running on capstone microturbines.